Hi guys, welcome back to Rebuilding Portsmouth. Now, in the last episode, I said that I was really struggling to find people to sign, and that has not really been eased a great deal with how things are so far. So I am, oh sorry, I said I was going to probably struggle because of the new uh, sort of scouting system. Now, we have actually, I believe, managed to make a signing. Let's just see if that's actually happened. Yeah, so it's not really a signing, it's on loan. We've got Leo Chambers on loan from West Ham. I said I needed to strengthen at fullback, and this was the best I could find. Uh, from the off. Now, I've heard, I've already looked on the internet, and I know that there are some great free transfers you can pick up in this league, but they've all gone because I didn't get them until I looked, and I only looked like about 20 minutes ago. So, unfortunately, those players like J Jamie Peters and that, I believe, are all gone, which is a shame. But we do have this guy on loan, Leo Chambers. He's going to be playing, obviously, when, he's get, when he gets match fit. He, he won't be playing to start with. He's going to be playing our right back role, I'd probably have to say. Now, that is about it. I don't know if I've even lined up any other transfers. I'm going to start looking at some frees. I'm getting used to using the transfer system, basically. So I have no real transfer news as such to actually talk about, which is a shame. But you'll probably get a lot more of that in the next episode, I imagine. Because I definitely will have to bring in some new guys before we get to the end of the transfer window. Because otherwise we could be in some serious trouble. We're under a lot of pressure this year because we do have to get promoted, basically. So... I'm just worrying about whether my tactic is going to work or not. And speaking of tactic, let's take a look at it. So this is what we're going to be doing this year. Now, you'll think, well, okay, that looks very similar to the tactic you used in rebuilding Fulham. And it kind of is. It's it's similar. But I've changed a few things. So the defensive system is pretty much the same. So with complete wing back, set to attack, blah, blah, blah. Goalkeeper is not doing sweeper keeper stuff, though. He's just set to goalkeeper. Basically, um, I, I saw a little a few errors were happening when I was playing sweeper keepers, i.e. Steckenberg would bring the ball out and then thump it into the midfield and it would just get kicked straight back into his net because he'd gone too far out. So simple system, back four, lovely. Right, in the middle, we have a boarding midfielder set to defend just like we did in rebuilding Fulham. We also have this time a box to box midfielder, which I don't believe we had. So that's going to give us even more attacking force, which is something I like to see. He's going to be set to support. Of course, though, not to attack. I don't think he actually has an attack function. I don't think you can actually set him to attack. No, he can only do support, which is interesting. I guess that kind of supports both ends of the pitch. Now we have uh, Atanjana here is playing as an attacking midfielder uh, instead of an advanced playmaker just because he's better at that role, I think, as far as I can tell. Uh, he can play both, but I, I prefer to use him as an attacking midfielder for this sort of system that we're going to try out. On the wings, they're both wingers, and up front we're using an advanced forward again. So it's relatively similar, but those of you that have seen my sort of weird asymmetric tactic that I'm trying with St. Pally will know that I am definitely trying to experiment. We are using counter and flexible. And our instructions, relatively similar in some respects. We are already set to prevent short uh, distribution. We're still in high tempo, close down more, exploit the fangs, play wider, drop deeper at the moment, although that's something I do change from episode to episode. So if we're playing against a team with two strikers, I'll generally drop a bit deeper to stop them from getting in behind us. It's just one of those things that kind of does need to be done. So moving along. So that is basically the system that we're going to be trying to play this season. Now, obviously, it's going to take them a while to get used to it. Once I have done that and they are fully like fluent in the tactic, I'm going to build second and third tactics, but I want to get this one nailed down first. And basically all I do, so we'll do a defensive tactic where I can push these two back into sort of set like right and left midfield roles just to try and shore things up. And all it will do is it'll switch these two to defensive so they don't go forward or sweat it. I don't know if they actually have a defensive setting, do they? No. Okay. So it'll turn those guys into fullbacks, probably the defensive role, which it shouldn't be a problem. So that's what I'll do there. And to be fair, it's pretty attacking, so we don't really need an overloading attacking system because I can just switch some of the mentalities. And now with the in-match team talks, which are quite cool, we could probably use that to our advantage too. I'm not really sure how well they've worked, but we'll have to see. Now, obviously, we've got our first game of the season tomorrow against Exeter. And I'm looking forward to it. We are away from home, though, so hopefully we can get a good result. I'd take a draw if I need to, but I think we could probably be winning there. Just one of those things that we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. Now, this is the schedule for the first month of the season. It's going to be a busy one. Busy as balls. First game of the season, we've got Exeter away. Then we have Brighton, which is going to be a toughie, in the Cup. Now, we're not expected to do anything in the Cup, so we can pretty much... I mean, I'll give it a go, but I, I can't see anything coming out of it, especially not with an un with the tactic won't be ready by then because it's only the second game of the season then we have Cambridge United at home and Northampton Town at home so a good little run of home games there albeit one of them against Brighton then we have Oxford away Newport County at home 
that's a lot of games though. So, uh, I mean, it's it's six games, which isn't too many, but it, it's still quite a few. And hopefully, we won't get too many injuries because I've heard stuff about how you get a lot of injuries already. And as you can see, we've already got five players out injured just from our preseason friendlies, where we drew uh, with our under twenty ones in the sort of you know the inter squad friendly there range. Lost one nil to West Brom, which we actually was pretty decent. Uh, only lost three two to Birmingham and three two to Fulham, and then we beat Bradford City in a friendly. So we we definitely got some ability there. It's just a question of applying that, and that is what we're going to be attempting to do this month. Now, so we've done tactics. I've shown you potential transfers, although there'll probably be more in the next episode. Uh, apologies that this episode is so short. I am using the updated version of the game. It's uh, 15.0.2, so hopefully things are much smoother now because it was running a little bit laggy. So we'll see if I can do a live comp because I definitely do want to do that, for, especially for some of the big games. That would be awesome. Now, we have got ourselves... So what am I talking about? Yeah, so I'm going to look to strengthen in certain areas as well before the end of the month because we do need some backups, if nothing else, because that just seems to be the way that our scouting is working at the moment. And by that, I mean not very well. Like, I did look here to see if we could just find any right-sided defenders, but Jamie Peters is one here who we did look at, but uh, maybe see what the scouts say about him. No, he does want a lot of money. That's a worry. Plus, I still think that, mm, I don't know, we might have to have a look into him as well, because he'd definitely be better there. I don't know, we'll have to see. But we have now San Leo Chambers, so is that why? I, I don't know. Let me know what you think I should do in the comments, that'd be cool. Now, so that is pretty much that. We've got, you'll see us in the next episode, and we will talk through all the games, and I look forward to showing you some highlights with the brand new match engine, which will be awesome. So... If you've liked this, please feel free to hit that big old like button. And if you've liked it even more than that, hit that lovely subscribe button. The episodes from now on probably will be much longer than these. It's just because I can't show you too much stuff. There's no point in me babbling on forever. We will, of course, be doing attribute updates on players starting from the very next episode. So let me know what players you want to see the attribute updates for, and I will do it, I promise. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Until next time, bye-bye.